All right. Um, let's look at the map. That's Tan. Okay, yeah. Operations, Colonial Affairs, Tram Station, Kesha's Office. Go speak with Kesh. Hello, I'm Jan Garson, founder Wait, is this? of you and all you look around. Founder, please select a topic. <laughs> New location. Oh my gosh. Initiative armor. Data pad. Same crap, different day. For posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up. The next is the Four Ring Circus. Don't like how Tan operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. They're already polarizing Addison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Kandros about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated. Or maybe not. Seriously, I hate this kind of drama. Hi, Cash. Hold on. Let me stand behind the behind the desk. I feel like that's more there appropriate. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan, ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, was killed. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed well, in a disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. Wait, did we leave the Milky Way before the end of Mass Effect 3? Like, did we leave during Mass Effect 2 or something? Because that would make sense why he still hates the Krogan, why Tan does, and why um, why he doesn't know about like Morden and how he cured the Genophage and how I don't think she knows that the Genophage is cured. Huh. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. 
our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. You got it, Cash. Speak with Kandros. Arms merchant. Speak with the scientists. I don't know what that is. Kandros. Wait, hold on. There's a blue check mark right there. What's the blue check mark for? Oh, Raj Patil. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Okay. Find out why. Be careful. Dude, he like sprints like like no joke. He just books it. He'd run like a four-second forty-yard dash. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. This <laughs> dude's eyebrows. Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash-landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... Okay, whoa. Omniblade, I have 100 credits. Salvage, sell the merchant for high... Sell all salvage. I mean... Salvage, I can't do anything with salvage, right? I don't think so. It'd be really dumb if you could and they still have the sell all salvage button. Confirm trade. Okay, now we're like rich. Wow. Crazy how that works. Stop chitting. Armor. Why can't it, does he not have anything in those categories? I guess not. Um, nothing there. No special items. Although very rare, rem remnant decryption keys can be used to bypass. That says can buy used. Well, trash game. Uh, can be used to bypass any glyph locked remnant console. Unfortunately, the key is always destroyed in the process. Well, I feel like I should probably keep that. Um. Ultra rare shotgun. I could buy that. That's a shotgun. Hold on, wait. Compare M8 Avenger. 
compare M3 Predator. Those, that's a pistol it's comparing to. Do I not have a sniper? Oh, I do. Kind of weird how you can't compare the two snipers. I find that odd. Can I compare Omni Blades? No. Please be advised that Hyperion Oh, it's just the same thing. Alright. That dude in prison or something? Okay. There's a exclamation point over here somewhere. Oh, Mariette. Just wrong. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband Woohoo, space politics. is locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Speak with the prison guard. Uh, Apex status. Lieutenant, based on status report 16-C, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in, in, in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risks involved in continued loss of resources and lives make it, makes it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. Kandros. Oh, is this Kandros right here? It is. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. 
We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. I like Kandros. Strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Oh. Dude, how many missions do I have right now? Speak to Kandros on the Nexus. That's first strike. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Missing arcs. Okay, I like this. Completed missions. Helios assignments. Nexus. Speak with the prison guard. There's a lot, dude. That's the console again. for our strike teams. Yeah, I think what so. Are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Inspect available strike team missions. Select to complete a multi select to complete a multiplayer or to assign a strike team. Strike teams. Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn XP and Rider will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll only earn a small amount small amount of XP and no special reward. At least there's no negatives to sending them out. It's not like you lose XP or something. Um, Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and handle critical missions. Select a mission and press A to send Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team rewards for writer and additional bonuses. Probably not going to be playing the multiplayer really. Uh, these missions are currently available for your strike team. Select a mission with A to send a strike team. Check back daily for new available missions. This icon describes the difficulty of the mission. Read the description for each mission. The time limit to attempt the mission. The reward for successfully completing the mission and any mission traits or properties. Okay. This is cool. This is your current list of recruited strike teams. Select a team with A to equip them with specialty gear. Retire a team with a Y if you want to recruit a fresh team in their place. The more strike teams you have, the more missions you can undertake at once. Select a recruit team to recruit a new strike team to your cause. Strike teams on a mission can earn positive traits if they succeed and negative ones if they fail. Strike team traits can change the chances of success the team has on specific missions. Press X for more information on traits. Recruit team. 40 mission funds. Select to complete a multiplayer to assign. Hmm. Wait. Eighteen percent chance of success. Five percent. Seventy-eight percent. Five percent. Eighteen. Seventy. I guess I'll send them. Alright, that was, that was just something, um, okay, which mission should I track right now, let's do this, oh, Hey, Sergeant Aker, or a care. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkan Rensis. Ah, our murderer. 
Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Lyoka, yeah. you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I... I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my otherwise. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope.